Now would be a good time to stock up on ice. So, why don't we go back to Cornelia and see Princess Sarah? Is this place? Uh! Lon, are you all right? Uh, yeah. Did you just see that? Should you two be here? A Tonberry? Quite so. A Tonberry through and through. Now, should you children be this far afield? Far of what now? He's asking if we're lost. I guess he's got a point. I have no idea where we are. As I thought. Then you should both come with me at once. It's not safe here. I give you the Colosseum. So, how... Come back soon. Chapter 5 The Champion Who Saved Grimoire soldier controlling them. Once mirages are scattered and separated from their keeper, they revert to their wild state. And wild mirages are something you just learn to get used to in Grimoire. That's why you've got Mr. Warrior here. Yes, indeed. However, we cannot rule out the possibility of another Bahamut attack. What we need is an alliance with another country. Some sort of mutual agreement to come to each other's defense. Actually, Word has been spreading of such an organization. An anti-federation group as large as a nation. Perhaps the time has come to formally introduce ourselves. They call themselves the League of S. League of S? Do you know of any way to reach them? The Thane of Saronia to the north has been in contact with them. I believe one of the merchants mentioned it. Saronia, yes. They have been resisting federation annexation. Yes. Highness, allow me to journey there, 
and learn what I can about the League of S. Alone? To get to Saronia, you must pass through all manner of places teeming with dangerous mirages. And I... Hey, maybe we could go instead. Yeah! Mr. Warrior here, he and the Brigade should stick around and keep the goblins in line. That's right. Cornelia's legendary champion belongs right here in Cornelia. We're the best fit for this. We've got tons of mirages to collect, and could start just about anywhere. So, you know, it wouldn't be any trouble. What a kind offer. You would really do that? Sure. You're doing us a favor by pointing me and Lon in a new direction. We're glad to help. I thank you. We are in your debt. Here, all Cornelian emissaries are given these letters as proof of their authority. It should help you on your way. Thanks. Well, there's no sense in hanging around. Hmm. So long. Take care. Bye-bye, bye-bye! Uh, your Highness. Okay, then let's get going to the Saronia place. Just hop on the train and take that choo-choo the norm. Right. Tickets, please. Holy amaze! I could stare for days! This place... Looks like we're gonna have to find a way through. If things get the dangerous or you need a break, don't forget that you can use the gates to return to Ninewood Hills and take a time out! Let's begin.
Whoa! How are we supposed to get past these vines? What's this symbol? That's one of Inna Crow's the patented sizzle symbols! She got it patented? That's your cue to the Bring Along a Mirage that's learned the sizzle ability. And if you don't have a mirage with the sizzle ability just yet, you're sure to find one close to by, so keep looking. Grimoire sure has no shortage of wonders, does it? I know. How high up are we? I wonder what would happen if we jumped. Go on, we're the waiting. Uh, I'll pass. to do it. Oh.
No trouble at all. That was a good fight. Good job. No trouble at all. Predictable. are about to fall off talking about it only makes it worse but you do have a point i guess this is wearing me down oh come on it's not that simple you can the hitch a ride on your mirages as long as they've learned the joyride ability here we go yeah we
did it! Good job.
beautiful. Wait a sec. I know I've seen that before. But where? I can't remember. Giants traveling with a mirage? It seems clear. The two of you are not from Grimoire. I totally forgot about hiding! Yeah, we kind of forgot to shrink down, too. What's your name? You know, that staff. My name is Yuna. Are you heralds? Have more of you been sent to plague us? Your kind have brought enough chaos into this world already. Be gone now from Grimoire. You have no place here. I don't understand it. Why is she so mad at us? Yeah, Vaughn. What did you do to her anyway? What did I do? Why is it my fault?
The way you use mirages. Only Luz Farna ever held such power over them. Tell me, who are you? Huh? Luz Farna, you said? <sighs> but that's our... mother. Uh, hey, you're right. That was her name. Uh, listen, you wouldn't happen to know this, Luz Farna. Let me show you something. used to wear what then it's her right i knew i recognized it the ornament on unistaff roughly 100 years ago a champion from another world saved grimoire her name was loose farna huh mom did that but a hundred years it doesn't make sense mom's a champion and this is some kind of monument to her so, you keep saying that Lady Luce was your mother. Again, may I ask who you are? Well, uh... No memory? That is strange. Do you think you might be able to tell us a little more about Lady Luce? We'd appreciate anything at all. I'm sorry. I only know the common legends. The ones Grimoire's people have grown up with. Fine. We'll take anything. Sometime around a century ago, the world of Grimoire was nearly destroyed by a being that has come to be known as the Demon Dyer. Luce Farna prevented this by creating the Ultima Gate, a bridge to salvation from which she summoned three heralds straight from the realm of the gods. Thus, she became Grimoire's champion. That definitely sounds like something out of mythology. Bridging the gap between worlds is a serious accomplishment. She must have been amazing. That she was. But sadly, even though she managed to save the world from the demon Dyad, huh? the Heralds, all three of them, chose to remain here in Grimoire. And one of them is now Grandalus, King of Bahamut. Huh? But Bahamut? That's the Federation that attacked Cornelia. Yes. After they finished saving the world, Grandalus and the others harnessed a legion of new mirages and slowly took control of Grimoire's lands, building a powerful federation. A legion of new mirages? Mon, you don't think there's any connection to the ones we lost, do you? What? That's not possible. We're talking about a hundred years ago. But where have we been? Nightwood Hills, which Anna Crow told us, was a world without time. Right, Tama? Right there you are! Compared to other the worlds, the concept of time there is, let's say, more than a little bit the unusual. So, if you want to know just the how long you were there, there's really the no way to measure. Dude, what? Um, if you don't mind my asking, whatever happened to Lady Luce? After the Heralds came? Unfortunately, we don't know for sure. Some say summoning the Heralds was an act that cost her her life. While others say she lives as a prisoner in the Herald's castle. Her freedom lost forever. Prisoner? What? Well then, where can we find this castle? I wish I could help, but I don't know where to find them. Not just me. No one. Not even the soldiers in their army. They say Brandalus keeps its whereabouts a secret. Huh? How do you hide a big honking castle? Hey, take it easy. Come on. It's a legend. Are you really gonna get all worked up over something carved on a rock? They share the same name. That doesn't automatically have to mean they're the same person. Well, yeah, maybe not. But you can't try and tell me this is just a coincidence. Would you listen? All the stuff we're remembering? Like Mom's name? What if it turns out none of it is true? But I guess there's no point in telling Lon that. What is it already? Oh, just forget it. If it's Bahamut that you're after, you should start in one of the Federation's member states and do your asking around there. Seronia lies further north. I believe they just joined the Federation. What? Dude, what? But I thought 
Seronia was the place we're going to. Then Princess Sarah must not have known. Oh well, we've already made it this far. Yeah, we wouldn't be very good emissaries if we turned back now. And we did promise to ask about the League of S. I'm real sorry I raised my voice at you. I uh, know you were trying to help us out, so thanks. No, I should be sorry for attacking you. It was wrong to accuse you of being something you're clearly not. Again, it shall be Ragnarok, a battle initiated by new champions. And yet, to whose salvation? You're beyond salvation. <laughs> Chase is more to my liking. I tire of simply waiting. What's up, sis? Oh, it's probably nothing. I just have this strange feeling. Kind of familiar, but also... I just have this strange feeling. Kind of familiar, but also kind of scary. Chapter 6 Solace from the Ice Reason my butt off out here. No kidding. Hey, let's take shelter at that in there. What? My senses are the telling me some kind of door has appeared in Ninewood Hills. What's this thing? It sure looks like a door, but does it even go anywhere? Hello, let's check it out. But, what? Hey! Uh, what? Where are we now? Visitors? What an unusual surprise. Um, who are you? And where are we? My name is... Huh? Who's right there on the tip of my tongue? Use it or lose it, I suppose. Oh, but this is my tea room. So who are you? Will you join me for tea? Uh, well... You might say that we're sort of passing through, but I'm Lon, and this is... It's Rain, and my brother and I are from Ninewood Hills. Lon and Rain from Ninewood Hills. <gasps> of course! I had a dream about this. I saw the two of you come here. Today's the day. Huh? Right. I think I might know why you've come here. Shall we get started? Uh... Sorry, come again? You know what me and Rain are doing here, even though we don't have the slightest clue? Mm-hmm. Your keeper's looking for new mirages. 
You've come to touch the souls of your friends, their past, present, and future, to step into their shoes and fight when mirages threaten them and they need you most, to sway them towards success. Correct? Uh, I don't know. Wow, dude, that was a lot of words. Hey, Rain, you follow that? Uh uh, nope. I am officially lost. So, whose soul will you touch? Welcome to the Choco... Seraphie, um, you seem to have something sitting on your head there. What's the deal with that? Huh? <laughs> How did that get there? You didn't even notice? <laughs> oh boy, what a doofus. Uh, have you checked your head? 
Uh, how did that get there? Ha, ha, ha. Oh, boy, what a doofus. Both of you are doofuses. Hey, the word is doofy. Here, I'm giving you this, so let's just move on. Uh, thank you. But what is this for? The truth is... <sighs> I haven't the foggiest. <laughs> I guess when I go out for a walk, stuff just finds its way onto my head. Well, from now on, whenever you see some thingamabob parked on my noodle, you just go ahead and help yourselves.